Look, this is for my people out here that's dealing with narcissism. Look, if you find yourself in a situation to where you feel as though you need to explain yourself, you need to take up for yourself, or you need to make a, or, or you're trying to prove to the narcissist that you are not who they say they are, stop it. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Let me tell you something. You don't prove yourself. Don't prove yourself to anybody. Don't try to, don't, you don't prove yourself to the narcissist. You don't try to defend yourself and be like, hey, well, I'm not, I'm not going to allow you to treat me this way anymore because I'm this type of person. You can't do this. If they lying on you, let me tell you something. If they lying on you, which you know, which we know all narcissistic individuals are liars for they are not the they are not of the father of God, the father of righteousness. They are of their father, the devil and the and the devil is the father of all lies. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You damned if you do and you damned if you don't it with these people, because guess what? What's the use of explaining yourself? Because they're going to lie on you anyway. If something go wrong, they're going to lie on you anyway. They're going to blame you anyway. I don't know why you're trying to defend yourself. They're going to blame and lie on you anyway. P Look, let me tell you something. You can take some, you can, let's just use a bag of chips, for example. Somebody else can steal the bag of chips, but guess what? It wasn't even you, but guess what? You tell them it wasn't you, they don't give a fuck. They're going to blame you anyway. They're going to blame you anyway. So I don't understand. Don't try to explain yourself to these people. The best thing you can do is to ignore these people. And it takes great discipline and great patience. But once you practice it over and over again, you're going to become used to it. It's going to become second nature. You have to understand something. By giving a narcissistic individual a reaction out of you is giving them what they want. And that's attention, validation, and energy. Energy most of all because they want your energy and they feed off your lights. So by you trying to defend yourself, you're not doing nothing because guess what? You're giving them what they want. You're giving them explanation. You're giving them attention by you even trying to take up for yourself. Let me tell you something. The best thing you can do is to remain silent. And I'm telling you, ignore these individuals. Like Jesus Christ say, turn the other cheek. You got to be very disciplined. You have to. It takes a a great amount of discipline and patience to ignore a narcissist. But I'm telling you, you can do it because you cannot explain yourself to these people. These people are complete psychopaths. They are impossible. They don't care about anything. They don't care about anything, anybody, or nothing. They don't care about you at all. They're going to lie on you anyway. They're going to blame you for everything anyway. You damned if you do and you damned if you don't with these individuals because they are out to destroy you. And uh, let me tell you something. And the flying monkeys, flying monkeys is going to enable and They're going to enable the behavior because guess what? The flying monkeys, the narcissistic flying monkeys, the flying monkeys are going to set little traps up. They're going to set traps up just so you can get blamed for it. Meaning, let me tell you something. For example, as I said about the bag and a bag of chips, the flying monkey was the one who ate the chips. But guess what? The flying monkeys are going to set up traps so that you can get blamed for it because they know for a fact that the person, the narcissistic individual is going to blame you for everything and that the narcissistic individual is going to lie on you anyway. So guess what? This can this goes for my people that got narcissistic siblings. Your siblings going to do all the dirty work. They're going to do all the cheating. Your siblings going to do all the stealing so that your parents can blame you for it because your siblings are in on it. Your siblings are in enablers flying monkeys they're going to set up traps to the they're going to set up traps so that the not so that the main the main boss the parent can come at you because they don't like you and they don't they want to destroy you so they're going to do everything in their path in order to try to destroy you and this goes for the workplace. People going to make up lies in the workplace. They're going to try to make it seem like you're not doing your job when in reality, you doing the be you the best worker in the workplace. But guess what? They're going to set up little traps so that people can come against you because guess what? They are jealous and envious of you. This goes for the flying. The flying monkeys are severely jealous and envious of you because they chose to hate you for a no apparent reason. 
because they was taught to hate you and because they was taught to hate you they began they began a love to hate you because they started to see how in, impressive uh, how in, of an impressive individual you was yeah beware let me tell you something beware do not explain yourself exercise restraint and let me tell you something move in silence and ignore these individuals ignore these individuals the best thing you can do is ignore these individuals do not give them any attention don't give them any power because that's what they want stay blessed look remember something anytime people have to form an alliance against you to attack you anytime people use triangulation to attack you, let me tell you something. The strongest, let me tell you something. Weak people move in numbers. The larger the group, the the more destruction and stupidity with withholds within that group. Because let me tell you something. Weak people move in numbers. Strong people move by themselves. So let me tell you something. You're not getting triangulated against because you're weak. You're not getting triangulated against or being our alliances isn't coming against you because you are weak and you're the problem. No, you are a threat and they cannot destroy you one on one. They cannot whoop you one on one. Let me tell you something. You got the power to whoop everybody and anybody in all forms of triangulation and alliances that form against you. Don't think you can whoop them. No, you can whoop them. Because you have to understand something. Weak people move in numbers. The larger the group, the more destruction that with, withholds within that group. Don't fear being triangulated against. Don't fear alliances forming against you. No, you stand your ground because you are way powerful than those weaklings. You have to think they're moving in numbers, but you come as you are. Und independent. Stay blessed. What?